How's it going, everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just want to come on here for a while and give my review for All Elite Wrestling's AW Dark Elevation from last night, which was September 6th, 2021. I gotta say, it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was Bear Country, which are Bear Bronson and Bear Boulder, versus the Wingmen, which are Ryan Nemeth and Peter Avalon. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Bear Country went over cause Bear Bronson pinned Ryan Nemeth with the elevator splash from Bear Boulder and Bear Bronson. Well, after the match, Cesar Bononi and J.D. Drake came out and attacked Bear Bronson and Bear Boulder from behind and beat the shit out of them. And Peter Avalon got on the microphone and cut a promo talking about how Bear Country were ugly and how he enjoyed them getting their asses whooped by Cesar Bononi and J.D. Drake and, and also talked about how J.D. Drake was going to kick Dante Martin's ass later on tonight and everything. And then the wingmen, which are Peter Avalon, Ryan Nemeth, Cesar Bononi, and J.D. Drake, celebrated and everything, which that was cool. Match two, it was Emmy Sakura versus... Yeah, match two, it was Emmy Sakura versus Miss Kate. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Emmy Sakura went over with the double underhook backbreaker. Match match three, it was Lance Archer versus GPA. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Lance Archer went over with the blackout. Match four, it was Kiara Hogan versus Blair Onyx. That was a great that was a great match, but the ending to it Kiara Hogan went over with the face of the music. Match five, it was Nyla Rose versus Yep, yeah, match yep. Yeah, match five, it was Nyla Rose versus Laney Luck. That was that was a that was a squash match, but the ending to it, Nyla Rose went over with the beast bomb. Well after the match, Vicky Guerrero came in the ring with a Nyla Rose t-shirt and, and laid it on top of Laney Luck, and Nyla Rose and Vicky Guerrero celebrated and everything. That was cool. Um, match six, it was Anthony Bowens versus Griff Garrison. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Anthony Bowens went over due to interference from Max Caster. Well... How Max Caster interfered is Max Caster punched Griff Garrison in the face with a chain and Anthony Bowens got the pin in the victory. Well, after the match, as the acclaimed, which are Max Caster and Anthony Bowens, were celebrating, Brian Pillman Jr. came out with a kendo stick to the ring and the acclaimed retreated and the Varsity Blondes, which are Brian Pillman Jr., Griff Garrison, and Julia Hart, stood tall in the ring while the acclaimed, which are Max Caster and Anthony Bowens, were outside of the ring, and both the Varsity Blondes and the acclaimed were staring each other down. That was cool. Match, match seven, it was Red Velvet versus... Yep, yeah, match seven, it was... Red Velvet versus Queen Amanada. That, that was a great match, but the ending to it, Red Velvet went over with the final slice. Match, yeah, that, was, that was match seven, by the way. Match eight, it was the Dark Order, which are John Silver and Ten versus Travis Titan and Isaiah Moore. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the Dark Order went over because Ten made Travis Titan pass out to the full Nelson. Match, match nine, yep, match nine, it was Dante Martin versus J.D. Drake. That was a great match, 
but the ending to it, Dante Martin went over with a diving with a spring with a springboard moonsault. Match ten, it was Riho versus Sky Blue. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Riho went over with the Samato and match eleven. Yeah, that was, that was match match that was match ten, by the way. And match eleven, which was the main event, it was John Moxley, Eddie Kingston, and Darby Allen versus RSP and Chaos Project, which are Luther and Serpentico. That was a great match, but the ending to it, John Moxley, Eddie Kingston, and Darby Allen went over because Darby Allen pinned RSP with the coffin drop. Now, besides the matches, the wingmen, which are Ryan Nemeth, Peter Avalon, Cesar Bononi, and J.D. Drake cut a promo, and Ryan Nemeth and Peter Avalon were talking about how Bear Bronson and Bear Boulder of Bear Country were ugly, and um, and we're, we're going to give them a hostile makeover and everything, and then J.D. Drake was talking about how he was going to kick Dante Martin's ass and everything. That was cool. AEW aired a video package of the buildup of the match between Big Swole versus Diamante in a three strikes match on AEW Dark and everything, which that was cool. And the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, John Silver, Five, Ten, and Colt Cabana were all, well, yeah, the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, yeah, yeah, the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, John Silver, Five, Ten, and Colt Cabana cut a promo, and Evil Uno was talking about how, as the leader of the Dark Order, he has made mistakes, and, and everything, and, and Evil Uno also was saying that if anybody has a problem with how he's leading the Dark Order, speak up now. Well, Stu Grayson, Colt Cabana, John Silver, and Ten, they said they didn't have any problems. But Five said he had a problem. And Evil Uno said, okay, Five, speak up. Then Five was saying, you think you're the leader of the Dark Order, Uno, but you're not. And... If you are a leader, you're not a good one because you let you let Alex Reynolds walk away and you let Hangman Page get his ass whooped get his ass whooped by five five other men. And Evil Uno was talking about how and Evil Uno was saying, well, five as a leader, sometimes you have to make hard decisions. And Five was saying, well, well, how about this, Uno? How about, he said, I want to fight you. So, what do you say? Me versus you. In a fight. And Evil Uno said, well, well, Five, if you want to fight, you got it. And then Five was, Five was saying, that, was talking about how he was going to kick Evil Uno's ass and everything, and then, John Silver and Ten were applauding Five, and then uh, John Silver, Five, and Ten left, and Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, and Colt Cabana were all standing there um, uh, looking on. Well, Evil Uno was frustrated, and Stu Grayson and Colt Cabana were encouraging Evil Uno to fight. And, um, and uh, Evil Uno was trying to say that it was a bad idea and everything, which that was cool. Um, now, besides all that, Tony Schiavone and... Wait, but besides all that, Tony Schiavone and Paul White done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. And Eddie Kingston 
done guest commentary along with Tony Schiavone and Paul White during the matches of Bear Country versus the Wingmen, Emmy Sakura versus Missa Kate, Lance Archer versus GPA, Kiara Hogan versus Blair Onyx, Nyla Rose versus Laney Luck, Anthony Bowens versus Griff Garrison, Red Velvet versus Queen Amanada, and The Dark Order versus Travis Titan and Isaiah Moore. Eddie Kingston done great on guest commentary. And the referees for the event were Mike Posey, Rick Knox, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsburg, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Okay. Paul Turner refereed the match between Bear Country versus the Wingmen. Rick Knox refereed the match between Emmy Sakura versus Missa Kate. Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between Lance Archer versus GPA. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Kiara Hogan versus Blair Onyx. Rick Knox refereed the match between Nyla Rose versus Laney Luck. Wait a minute. The referees for the event were Mike Posey, Rick Knox, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsburg, and Aubrey Edwards. Paul Turner refereed the match between Bear Country versus the Wingmen. Rick Knox refereed the match between Emmy Sakura versus Missa Kate. Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between Lance Archer versus GPA. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Kiara Hogan versus Blair Onyx. Rick Knox refereed the match between Nyla Rose versus Laney Luck. Mike Posey refereed the match between Yeah. Mike Posey refereed the match between Anthony Bowens versus Griff Garrison. Paul Paul Turner refereed the match between Yeah. Paul Turner refereed the match between Red Velvet versus Queen Amanada. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between The Dark Order versus Travis Titan and Isaiah Moore. Yeah, that was Yeah, that was Aubrey Edwards. Wait a minute. The referees for the event were Mike Posey, Rick Knox, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsburg, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Paul Turner refereed the match between Bear Country versus the Wingmen. Rick Knox refereed the match between Emmy Sakura versus Missa Kate. Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between Lance Archer versus GPA. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Kiara, Kiara Hogan versus Blair Onyx. Rick Knox refereed the match between Nyla Rose versus Laney Luck. Mike Posey refereed the match between Anthony Bowens versus Griff Garrison. That was Mike Posey, by the way. Paul Turner refereed the match between Red Velvet versus Queen Amanada. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between The Dark Order versus. Travis Titan and Isaiah Moore. Mike Posey refereed the match between Dante Martin versus J.D. Drake. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between Riho versus Sky Blue and John Moxley. Wait, wait. And Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between John Moxley. And Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between John Moxley, Eddie Kingston, and Darby Allen versus Chaos Project and RSP. All the referees done awesome as usual. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give them a review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark Elevation from last night, which was September 6th, 2021. 
Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace out.